Macedonia in English. Just about everything you want to know. Vice PM Besimi visits Brussels. Sanino and Vimont publicly call on Macedonia to show a democratic capacity by holding fair and democratic elections and that that would be a component of the EC report, while the European Union member states will follow the election process in our country with great attention. Vice PM for European Affairs Fatmir Besimi said following his meeting in Brussels with the Executive Secretary General of the European External Action Service, Pierre Vimont, and the Director General for Enlargement at the European Commission, Stefano Sanino. The meeting with Sanino addressed the priorities of the high-level accession dialogue. I informed him about everything our country is doing, so that all these activities are included in the EC report, and to increase the number of positive arguments so that the same report is fully positive. We were also agreeing with Sanino on the meeting within the frameworks of the high-level accession dialogue, which will be held in Skopje with the representatives of the Commission in the final preparations of the report on the Republic of Macedonia, Basimi underlined. Shuto Rizari mayoral candidate beaten up Three members of the Roma United Democratic Forces were attacked and beaten after their party's rally in Shuto Rizari municipality by Amdi Bayram activists, State Minister without Portfolio, Nejdet Mustafa and Shaban Saliu from the Directorate for Protection and Rescue. Aydovan Mamutov, Shuto Rizari mayoral candidate, was transferred to the ambulance due to injuries on the head and several fractures. We know that this is MD Byram's work. From within his party they spread democracy with beating and I said this is the lowest case of inhuman behavior, said Saliu. The party urges the Ministry of Interior to solve the case as soon as possible and announced that they will press charges against both Amdi and Elvis Byram. Local elections to be observed by 8,379 domestic and 410 foreign observers. Sunday's local elections will be monitored by 8,379 domestic and 410 foreign observers. Civic Association Most accredited 3,941 observers. Shtip based Association for Humanitarian Activities Synergy 3,534. The Union of Civic Associations, Macedonian Platform Against Poverty, 379, and NGO Civil, 128. The OSCE, ODR, will monitor the elections with 204 observers, the EU delegation with 32, the Kosovo Central Election Commission with 17, the Council of Europe with 16, the French Embassy with 7, the Kosovo Embassy with 5, the Turkish Embassy with 5, Bulgarian, Russian, Austrian and Chinese embassies in NATO liaison office to Skopje 4 each, the British, Croatian and Albanian embassies 3 each, the Slovenian, Ukrainian, Swedish and Serbian embassies 2 each and one from the Slovak embassy. The Committee on Elections and Complaints has accredited 6 observers, whereas the Slovenian Election Commission 4. According to the State Election Commission, 281 interpreters will be engaged for the foreign observers. Sadasama leader meets OSCE ODR EOM head Ahrens. Sadasama leader Branko Cervenkovsky held a meeting with the head of the OSCE ODR election observation mission to the 24th of March municipal elections, Gerd Heinrich Ahrens in which he presented the ambassador the party's views on irregularities in the election process. The abuses of the budget funds in a pre-election campaign, the pre-election employments and the early start of the pre-election campaign were mentioned at the meeting, as were the irregularities related to the handling of the voters' registry and the inclusion of those persons who have so far not been a part of the voters' registry, Renata Treneska-Deskovska, member of the party's executive board, said. Sadasama holds rally in Cintar municipality. Sadasama leader Branko Cervenkovsky demanded the people's support for the Alliance for the Future's mayoral candidate for Cintar municipality, Andrei Zhernovsky. Cervenkovsky said that people vote two times on Sunday, once for the local elections and once for the early parliamentary elections. 
The people want changes, new future, something that only we can do through early parliamentary elections, said the Sudasama leader. Mayoral candidate Jarnowski said that he would turn Tentar into a greener municipality with renovated facades and gas supply network. Vomero Dopomanais rallies in Aerodrome and Gazibaba municipalities. Our strength lies in deeds and work, in keeping our promises. We do not want to buy votes with empty promises, manipulations and charismatic speeches. We have specific projects with set deadlines, deed to help each and every citizens of the Republic of Macedonia, said Prime Minister Nikola Gruevski at For Better Macedonia Coalition's rally in Aerodrom Municipality. He underlined that Vomero Dupamane's philosophy was to keep promises by working hard. Current mayor of Aerodrom Ivica Konevski, who is running for a second term of office, informed about realized projects and underlined the construction of a new kindergarten, a pumping station, and a collector in Gornu Lisice, as well as the 30 kilometers of sewage and the first parking structure. This is Bulgarian tourists' monument in Ohrid desecrated. The monument of the deceased Bulgarian tourists in Ohrid, who tragically died on the Ilinden boat, was desecrated with swastikas, Nazi symbols and texts with unknown content. Local authorities and Ohrid residents are disgusted with the deed and urge the police to solve the crime. The police carried out investigation and concluded that an unidentified person spread the messages on Wednesday night. We will do everything we can, said Stefan Dimovski from the Ministry of Interior, Ohrid. The desecration takes place the same day when the Bulgarian president announced a meeting with President Ivanov in Ohrid.